Today I'm going to show you how to create simple, beautiful light traits in Blender. So let's see. Let's delete everything and we're going to use a curve. Select Bezier. Now let's go to edit mode and we need to give a mesh to this curve because we need to add a material. So with this curve, go here in curve properties and you have two options. The first option is to go to geometry and increase extrude. This is going to create like a flat mesh. You can use this one, or if not, you can create a 3D mesh. If you go in bevel, in depth. If you increase this, we have like a tube. So I'm going to set this one, I'm going to leave this size, and come back to object mode. Now let's select the material view. Actually, I'm going to select the render view, and make the background dark. Now let's open a new tab, and go to shade editor. Let's create a new material. And first of all, we want to create like a gradient with this light rail. So we need to work in options, in blend mode, select alpha blend. Thanks to this, now when we apply a material, by the way, I cannot see this because, let me check, because we are in render, so for now I'm going to set this view. Later we come back to render, don't worry. So thanks to alpha blend, now we can work with alpha and make this material more transparent if we decrease this. So later we can apply a gradient at the start and at the end. So now let's hide this with N and we're going to use a gradient texture because what we want is to create a gradient along the curve and we're going to connect it in the alpha. So now we cannot see the gradient because we need to move it. So I recommend you to have non wrangle activated in add-ons and select this and press Ctrl T. By the way, I'm going to open emission and increment this and select another color, for example, this one. And now in theory, if we come back to render view, we should see these colors. By the way, to see the glow, remember to go to render, enable blue. Perfect. Now we can see the colors. And now we have a gradient, but we cannot see it because to have a gradient from the start to the end, you need to connect it in UV. And now you will notice that here is more transparent and here more light. Basically, if we come back to material view and I decrease this, for example, you will notice that here is darker. So this gradient is being applied from the start, here is zero, and here is one. Full white, full black. And in the middle, we have a transition. Okay. So now, if you want to animate this, the only thing you have to do is to animate the X loop. With this, we can rebuild and hide this light effect. However, we have a problem. We can trim, we can show this, but if I increment the X, doesn't disappear here. And I want to disappear because I want to do like a light dancing in the air. So to do this, we need to do a little trick. Just go in front of this and add color ramp. So remember, black means that it's transparent. So if I push this, let me select zero, first of all. You can see that if we don't have here nothing selected, this is black, this is white. So if I push black, what I'm saying is, please show more transparent here, or don't show light. And I can push it until the end. So if you want, you can animate it with this, if you want. And if you want to make it on the other side, then change the direction. Okay, so if we know that with black, we can say that in this part be invisible, then we could say, please, here be invisible too. How? Adding another black in the other side. So let's select this in the middle, 0 0.5, and let's create another color. Leave it here and select black. And now you're noticing that here is the same like here, transparent. So now if we come back here, you will notice that now we can animate this line effect and it's finished. So we have full control with only one slide. And if you want to reduce 
the size of this, what you can do is to push the blacks. So you have a shorter line. And now the fun part is that we can go to edit mode. So let's go to edit mode and delete this, A, delete. And I can start drawing my own curve. And you will notice that now with this, we can animate it. Look at this. We can draw as many as you want. And remember, if you want this bigger, then what you have to do is to go here and increment the depth. So you can increment the size of the tube or make it smaller. And if you want to smooth better the transition, then I recommend you to select here, easy. And you will notice, look here, before and after, the transition is smoother. Before I finish, I want to tell you two more things. Remember, if you are working with a Bezier, you can go to edit mode and delete everything and then go to add and add any curve that you have. If you don't have this curve, just go to edit, preference, go to add-ons and write add curve extra objects. If you able this, you will have more interesting objects, more interesting curve to play. For example, curve spirals and these ones, where here you can create interesting spirals. I recommend you to try different objects. If you want to add more resolution, I recommend you, for example, to add more steps. And then you can click outside. Remember, when you click outside, we are going to lose this information. But now we have this really cool spiral, for example. Look how cool this works. By the way, if you want to scroll this slower, then press Shift when you are clicking here. And the final tip, if you don't want to use this, you can delete it and use just a math node. Here, really important. And it's the same like before, but in this case, we only have one slider, so it's easier to animate. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more, and also watch exclusive tutorials on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.